Hi again folks, I wanted to follow up the video that I recorded earlier and um, so the first video that I did I set up a new Debian based virtual machine that I'm going to use for development and I left things in a fairly good position to continue but there was a couple of little bits that I thought could be neater. So going over to Visual Studio Code I want to take another look at how the remote connection is configured. So if I open the configuration file for the remote SSH extension, this is pretty normal open SSH configuration file. It's actually the same sort of SSH config file you can use on Linux as well, it's not specific to either Windows or Visual Studio Code. So I'm fairly familiar with this syntax already. Um, the entry for the new virtual machine is using the hostname setting in order to, set, to essentially do the lockup from this name to an IP address. Now really we want to be using DNS to do a lookup like that, we don't want to be hard coding this in a config file. And the other caveat here is that this IP address here is just something that was handed out by my DHCP server. Um, that is dynamic, it can change and if I shut everything down and come back tomorrow there's no guarantees that my VM will be handed the same IP address. So what I want to do is fix an IP address for this host and then I want to be able to remove the hostname entry here and rely on DNS to look things up. So I'm not actually going to be setting a static IP address in the VM itself and be using my DHCP server that runs on a little Linux box that acts as a router, DHCP server and DNS server. So I'm going to connect into that now with my terminal emulator here. So most of my machines have Greek letter names except for some of these VMs. Um, this one is my router, so let's resize this up a bit and I'm going to move myself over the other side so that I'm not in the way of any text. So this is my little router device. I have IF config. Yes, I have IF config. I'm just interested to see some of these numbers. Yep, this is definitely my router. It's moved plenty of network traffic since I turned it on. No, that's not bad over a period of most of a month. So, on this little router, I'm actually running um, DNS mask as my DNS and DHCP server and this is configured by a dnsmask.conf file which lives in slash etc. So if I want to edit the IP address assignments they're all just set up in here. So this is the configuration for DNS mask and it's a fairly simple list of DHCP host entries that actually controls the handout of IP addresses. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a spot just after my desktop because the VM is hosted on my desktop. I'm going to add a new DHCP host entry. And if 
if I also use this terminal to connect into my new VM, again bring the font size up a bit, if I have a look at the link status, I can pick out the MAC address that is being used by this virtual Ethernet adapter in my virtual machine. So I can take that MAC address and I can use that within doesn't work. That's the combination I need to use, Control, Shift and V. So yeah, I can paste that MAC address in to this configuration file and I can say when the DHCP server sees this MAC address, when it sees a request for an IP address coming from this MAC address, we're going to give it 10.0.0.81 right next to my desktop and this is our dev10 virtual machine. So really that's all we need to do to add that IP address assignment to the DHCP server and also to the DNS server at the same time because DNS mask handles both of those duties. So what I do need to do is restart DNS mask. I always forget the syntax for RC service on this little Alpine Linux box. So um, we're also just going to check that that came back up okay. Yeah, this is running. Things seem okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to reboot this Debian 10 virtual machine. So when this comes back up, it's going to go and ask for an IP address over DHCP. And hopefully my DHCP server will now have an, a static IP address assigned for this. So if I now try to connect to Dev10 again, I'm not expecting this to work because I've still hadn't hard-coded the old IP address in my terminal. So I'm going to change the configuration here in Terminus, which is my terminal emulator, and I'm just going to specify the host by name rather than IP address. And we're going to give this another go. That looks good. So we have this new IP address and this IP address is now fixed within my DHCP server. So I know that when I restart things it's always going to come back with this same IP address. So this is fine. Now what I'm going to do also is change my configuration within Visual Studio Code. So now that this hostname itself can be locked up and exists in my DNS server. I'm not going to need this hostname entry with an IP address. So in theory now, if I try to connect to Dev10, it's going to see that it has a new fingerprint. Well, this is just because it's not connected using this host name before it was using an IP address before. So we can say continue to that. And we should get our connection working. And if we bring up the terminal again, yes, this is all looking good. So yeah, that's all I wanted to do was just show how I can assign a static IP address 
within DNS mask on my little Linux based router and then go to the various configurations particularly the configuration file I'm using for Visual Studio Code and I don't have to specify an IP address anymore it can just be looked up by hostname so yeah that's all I wanted to show for today hopefully useful to folks running a home network and I'm going to wrap it up there.